Clueless Bazaar. My name is Riley and I have been a practicing witch for about five or six years now. Um, this camera looks a little different than normal. <laughs> it's more vlog style right now. I am still in the process of setting up my new home. <laughs> As someone who's never moved out before, this has been uh, quite the learning curve. So I still wanted to do something for Valentine's Day this year and I thought I would share it with you guys. I am single, so <laughs> Valentine's Day is generally, uh, for the last few years, hasn't been the best day of the year for me. It makes me feel kind of lonely. Um, and I would like to bring a partner into my life. So this spell I have done before. And at the time it had worked, uh, well, I had done a version of this spell and it brought someone into my life. These weren't permanent. So I'm hoping that with some of the changes that I've made, it can be successful. And this spell has been put together by a few facets of other smaller spells that I know have been successful um, over the years of trying. <laughs> uh, it's just never been lasting. So I'm hoping that the changes I made will make it lasting. So. I hope you enjoy this. I am going to be doing it a little bit more vlogging style um, and I'm going to show you step by step. So here you go. All right, so here we have my little quick setup for you guys. Um, this is the Bring Me Love spell. I'm doing it for Valentine's Day. So um, first things first, I did prep for most of this because certain portions of spell casting I don't think should necessarily really be on a video for certain things. But for this, I would like to show you before I do the actual ceremony what I put together. So to begin with, you're going to need a plate of some sort, um, a fireproof container, which I haven't included here yet because I haven't decided which one I'm going to use. <laughs> but you will need a fireproof container. And then you're gonna need a pen and some paper to work through these. And you're gonna need a carving tool for the candles themselves. Next, you're gonna need four pink candles. I chose this size because I didn't wanna to go too big. This one is a simple ritual um, for Valentine's Day, so I wanted it to just be something that wasn't working on for seven days. Okay, and then you're gonna need some pink Himalayan salt. You're gonna need some uh, olive oil, um, carrier oil. You're gonna need some rose petals, some baby's breath, and some chamomile. You're also going to need some essential oils. You're going to need jasmine, vetiver, rose, and geranium. And of course, you're going to need some rose quartz. So, I also have um, this box here. I'm not going to open it because I've got some stuff in it, but this is kind of my little Aphrodite altar box and honey for her because I, with Aphrodite, I feel like you should be putting some more offerings towards her for work. Um, she does a lot for me, so I like to show my things. So I will walk you through the steps. All right, first to begin, I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the bowl. Um, by olive, I mean the olive carrier oil. Next, I'm going to take my jasmine and I'm going to put four drops of that into my mix. I accidentally dropped five, but that's okay because I'm just going to even it out. Vetiver, um, I'm just going to put now five drops because I accidentally put five. So you just have to make sure it's equal parts, vetiver and jasmine. Next, I'm going to take two drops of rose and two drops of geranium. It's always hard to come out. So this is your first oil blend. I'm just gonna mix it together a little bit. I like to use a dropper. It makes the next part of the spell quite easy. Um, remember to cleanse your tools beforehand. But this, we're just gonna put to the side because we're not going to use it yet. All right, so here, um, I've already pre-carved. So I've got Gibbo for partnership. Manas for self, I have Ruse for sexual desire, and I have Iewa for stability and reliability. 
Um, you can choose different runes if you would prefer. These are the ones that I chose to do. Uh, just for a quick note for you guys, I drew them out for you. Um, these other three that you see here on this page, I actually put them on my crystals just for that extra added boost. Please know that this is not required. Your plain rose quartz will work just as well. I just like to keep these nearby as well. Uh, this one here means lasting partnership. You have affection and a male to female attraction. So I also have those on there for you for reference. So next step, you're going to want to take your candles and put them onto your plate. This is the plate that I had decided to use. Next, you're going to take your pink Himalayan salt and you are going to spread it around the base. You can get some on the candles, whatever. This is just a good step for cleansing as well as protection for your actual spell work. Next, you're going to take your rose petals, your chamomile, and your baby's breath and also spread it around. Place your stones where you would like them to be. And next, you are going to take that oil that we had made earlier and take it in a dropper and drop it all along the tops. It'll drip over the sides, soak them, and also it'll kind of coagulate a little bit down below with the bottom, with the salt. So that's kind of just a nice way to prep it. It smells great and it's quite pleasant to burn. These pink candles themselves, they are rose scented. I thought it was a nice little added touch. So for me personally, I like to write certain intentions in the witch's alphabet. So in here, what I have written is, um, I hunger for true love. So your decision if you wanna write it in the witch's alphabet or not, uh, either way will work. So your next step is going to be to meditate on the partnership that you are looking for. Have a clear image of what that looks like in your mind before you even begin the rest of the ritual. At this point, you will make sure your offering to Aphrodite is prepared. You will light your candles and recite this spell, which I will also include in writing on this screen. Aphrodite, grant me partnership. Aid me to find love that is lasting. Love that grows with me and brings mutual joy. As above, so below, so mote it be. Now, with this piece of paper that your intention is written on, you are going to want to, using the candles, light all four corners. So one corner for each of the candles and place it in a fireproof container. This is sort of just sending your will up to Aphrodite. Now here comes a point as to why I made these candles shorter, just the votives. Uh, you're gonna wanna let these candles burn out completely because you want to make sure that every ounce of intention is released. Um, you can sit and meditate once again on what you are looking for. Imagine that future partner, focus on it, send out those intentions into the world so hopefully they can be heard and your spells will be and that is the bring me love spell so i wish everybody a happy valentine's day and i hope that you have a partner to spend it with and if you don't this spell might be perfect and you know what even if you do have a partner this might be a spell just to sort of give it a little extra kick into your relationship. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe down below so that you can get uh, updates for whenever I post, which I'm hoping to do more often. So thank you so much. Have a blessed day.